I'm Brian with Fitzeek Fitness and today I'll be doing a quick review of the Safety Squat Bar version 2 by Titan Fitness. I would definitely say a Safety Squat Bar is a must have in any home gym right behind a traditional barbell. There are so many benefits to it that I don't even use a regular barbell squatting anymore. How it's designed and the camber on it pushes you slightly forward, causing you to engage your lower back and your core, which has built up so much strength in a short period of time for me. It also just puts you in a really good position to squat and learn the proper form of a squat. It's really easy to teach people how to squat with one of these bars. Uh, there's a ton of different exercises uh, beyond the squats that you can do on them, such as walking lunges, lunges, circus squats, and good mornings, which ever since I started doing them, I do them quite a bit, has increased my deadlift by quite a bit. And just using the bars built up so much lower back strength that my deadlift numbers have gone up a lot. Uh, when I, you know, I've wanted one for quite some time, but I didn't realize just how much I use it and all the benefits I get out of it. So I'm definitely really happy I went with this. So I've been wanting a safety swap bar for quite some time. And after checking a bunch of different companies, I decided to go with Titan Fitness's Safety Squat Bar, mainly for the price point. Uh, this runs $180, sometimes cheaper, they often run deals, and it has free shipping. Their competitors, their Safety Squat Bars are $400 and up. I know the Rogue, SV1, the FTS, Yoke, they're over $400, so that was the main reason I went with it and I'm so happy with it. Really quick specs on it, the bar is 90 and a half inches long. The width of the shoulder pads in the middle is going to be eight inches long and approximately 13 inches between the handles and the camber on it is a five inch drop. Here are some spots with the bar. My favorite exercise to use a safety squat bar for on leg day would have to be uh, seated squats. So put a bench behind you and go ahead and squat. Sit down on the bench really slow. Pause for about a second once you take a seat and then slowly get up. I'm really impressed with the build quality of this bar. Uh, the whole thing is built really well, feels really sturdy. The shoulder pads, the padding is really, really nice on them. Even when you go high weight, it feels very comfortable on your back and it feels secure. So you can focus on your exercise, not trying to hold or secure a barbell on your back. So like I said before, just using a safety squat bar really develops your lower back by causing you to engage it. But on back day, I like to incorporate good mornings into my workout, and that just builds your lower back so much. The last exercise I'll be doing are Zerker squats. Bar set a little high for this, but I'll make it work. That's gonna wrap up the review. If you guys are interested in purchasing one, I'll put a link in the description. Like I said, they're about $180, sometimes cheaper, and that includes free shipping. That's such a good deal compared to all the competitors being $400 plus for the same exact product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna see more content, subscribe to my channel. I just started it, 
but I've been posting all my workout routines and there's a ton more to come. Also, I started a fitness blog at FitZeek, F-I-T-Z-E-A-K.com. Go check it out. <laughs>